In an effort to try and touch the lives of those who've estranged themselves from their loved ones and those abandoned by their close family and friends, young author Lindogushe Shabalala penned a moving book that he entitled Parable of the Abandoned, The Promise of Peace. This offering takes the reader on a heart-wrenching journey of two brothers, Cain and Abel, as they try to navigate the world in a community that seems to reject them. Lindo is here in studio with us uh, to take us through his book for our Saturday morning review. Lindo, it's nice to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Lovely. Let's talk about the title of the book as well as the inspiration for okay. you to have written a book like this. Where did it come from? Um, it all boils down to intent, which in my case has always been wanting to leave a positive mark in the world. Mm -hmm. I believe that um, I'm um, I have a purpose, and that is to inspire young people. Yeah. You know, um, and um, the par a parable is a story told to teach people a, a lesson. Yes. And um, the book serves as a herald to all of us. We can learn and get the reasons behind some of the negatives that we face in the uh, in our societies. In the book, the characters who estrange themselves away from their loved ones, away from their dreams, and so on, but there still lingers a promise of peace for them, which mm. is deemed as abandoned. Be it a prom be it a um, um, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. no problem. Lindo, the, the book centers around two main characters, right? Yes. And I think a lot of people are familiar with the story of um, uh, Abel and Cain. Okay. That's if they do read the Bible because it is part of a Bible story. Yes. Um, for those who haven't, though, give us a bit of context and a bit of background. Who are these brothers and what's their story? Okay, let me first start with the structure of the book. Mm -hmm. The book has 18 chapters. The first yeah. six chapters um, introduces us to the main characters. We get to know who, the, who are the abandoned, yeah. why were, were they abandoned, what's the uh, promise of peace. The following six mm -hmm. chapters give us insight on the work done by the abandoned, all the actions taken in fulfilling their dear stream, which is attaining the promise of peace. Mm -hmm. And then the last six chapters are just um, a twist to a modern parable, leaving the reader with mixed emotions. So it's just a fictional novel mm -hmm. um, describing imaginary events and people. And I also feel like that all of us can, in a way, relate to the story. Yeah. Um, so I get people who have already finished reading the book telling me that they feel like they're part of the characters yeah. when reading it, you know. So it's, it's really amazing. And then um, I'd also um, like to focus with uh, on the character that you, mm. you mentioned, you know, um, Abel. He's the most hopeful character there yeah. is. And that's what I like about him. But Cain... It's actually contrary to him, you know, mm -hmm. he has um, negative energy and personally I don't vibe with people who emit um, <laughs> negative energy. Yeah, so we don't want bad vibes. Yeah, bad vibes, <laughs> why? <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about the fearless four gang that is headed by Cain. I mean, oh. take us through um, how it was formed and how it, it affects his community. Okay, that, that comes with um, the inspiration that I've, I've got from um, being raised uh, in a township. Yeah. So uh, I receive inspiration from things that actually happen around me. So with, with the group itself, it's something that um, I actually came to write, up, to write about it by seeing how mm. gang violence affected a lot of things that we as young people who are pursuing like dreams and all of mm. those things are facing in the, in the community and how it affects a lot of people. So that's yeah. how I came with the storyline of 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 that um, yeah take us through um the moral of the story and the lessons personally that you think are important for young people okay. to heed and to look out for okay i'd say that um what what makes the book worth reading is that there's no beauty such as that of reading something you can relate to mm. on or from an emotional standpoint i have to say this that we are a depressed generation yeah and, it's, uh, uh, and um, the book serves as a tool for empathy, you know, in the mm. sense that reading it is like going through a therapy session. Mm. So you come up better than you were when you Before, initially yeah. flipped the first page when you started reading it. Yeah. So yeah, even the, the, the journey itself, you know, it, it has been, I mean, it hasn't really bought me a house or a car, but it has shown me genuine love from all people. Yeah. I, I, I get people saying, because of you, I'm starting to work on being a better version. Of, of myself, myself, which is really amazing and that awesome. That is beautiful, and it's so yeah. rewarding. Much it's, it's, more yeah, than it's cars more and things like it's that. Much yeah, more rewarding. it is. It is. You you started writing at the age of fifteen, and this is actually, or, or did you start much earlier? No, I was I was fifteen. Yeah, I was actually yeah. 15. Uh, and it took you four years to complete mm. this book. I mean, take us through the journey. Um, um, was it easy for you to write it, to publish it, and okay. to eventually have it on sale? 
Um, okay, I, I was 15 you know, yeah. when I first realized I had this ability mm. when writing energized me as opposed to it exhausting me. Yeah. And I've been writing ever since because I realized that this is what gives my life purpose and meaning. You know, it was a four-year project which had its ups and downs. Yeah. But, I mean, nothing great ever comes easy. I'm just yeah. thankful that, um, you know, I realized that a very early age, I mean, 15, I realized mm. that a very early age that in order for one to grow, in order for one to evolve, one has to go through certain hardships yeah. and challenges. So through, through, throughout the process, I got to um, cherish failure more than anything. Mm. I got to acknowledge the importance of time, that time is a commodity, you know, mm. and the reason why most of us procrastinate is because we still think we'll be alive the next day, yeah. which is not the case. When I think of something, I write it at that moment in time, and I've yeah. been doing that for the past four years now. Don't leave it for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Do everything <laughs> we can for today. Yeah, you should do it while, while, whilst you're still alive, because yeah. tomorrow is promised to no man. Oh, so like that. I'm so inspired by you, actually. You so I'd so love so to much. chat to you uh, for more <laughs> than you just so uh, beyond the time that we have today. Okay. But that's all we have time for, Lindo. Thank you okay. so much. I wish you all the best. May you continue writing, teaching, inspire, and, uh, and inspire yeah, other young people. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, and congratulations, cool. because I hear that the book has been approved um, for schools around Houding. Yes, to actually it, it, it has book. been approved. Just like I've, I've mentioned when I started to say, I mean, it all boils down to intent, which in my case has always been wanting to leave a positive mark yeah. in the world. So I believe that I'm, I'm this chosen kid to deliver the youth from the slumber of not working hard, mm. you know, towards the teenage self declared goals. Also, seeing young people giving up on their dreams yeah. is what prompted me to write the book. So I wanted to show them that yeah. if I can do it, they so too can, can they. also do it. So that's Absolutely. why I ma I'm mainly focused on schools mm. to, like, inspire them to actually... Um, believe in themselves and Fantastic. to work on themselves We are out of time. Thank you so much. Thank you for and having me. And all the best. You're all welcome. Best that is uh, student and author Linda Wutle Shabalala has been speaking to us about uh, his first published book, Parable of the Abandoned, The Promise of Peace. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll have more for you when we return.